back everybody it is Malik again and we are in the steganography missions we are right now we've done one and two we are going into mission number three this one is by far the easiest of the stego missions uh, when it comes to sheer number of steps uh, and the hint actually, you know, gives it away. Well, I say that because I, of course, I've solved it. I know, I know how to solve it. So it, to me, it seems simplistic. But this has done a lot. What we have here, and the one clue we have, it just tells us to look carefully. It's obvious, just not at first sight. Okay. Now here's our image. Of course, there is something hidden inside this image. You could go through and you could run it through a hex editor and all that type of stuff that we did in one, but it's, it's so much more simple than that. This is one really... The only clue I can give you without giving it away is while two colors can be very very close to each other to where we really can't pick it out ourselves uh, you know we, we can't discern that close of a difference um, but another program can so there's more than one color inside of this what seemingly looks like this mid gray box. So, um, how do you get rid of one of them but keep the other when they're so close to each other you really can't tell? This just takes a little bit of playing around with. You do not need any special software, you got to download. But you do need a program you need to bring this image into. And paint works just fine. I mean, yeah, you could use Photoshop or something, but it's kind of overkill. You don't need anything that fancy. Um, so paint would work just fine. So there is something hidden inside of this seemingly solid gray box. Just play with it for a bit. See if you can figure it out. And if not, we'll do it together. So, give it a try. Okay. So, for this, I really don't need to download it. I can just copy it. And I am going to go into Paint. And I'm going to paste it. Alright, again, this whole thing looks solid gray. Well, I'm going to make sure everything is selected. And I'm going to change the color. Uh, doesn't matter. Yellow, you know, pink, doesn't matter. Just, I mean, I could even use white if I wanted to. I'm going to pick my fill bucket. Now, I'm going to go anywhere around here, eh, somewhere in the center, and just click. Well, hmm, look, something remained. Well, what remained was some gray text. It looked, if I, if I was to undo it and zoom back out, you can't tell. You just literally cannot tell that there's some other text in here. But, again, if I select all, fill it, see, it's right there. Now, again, just so you can see how close those two colors were to each other. Right, I'm going to click into it. All right, there you go. I'm 800% zoomed in. 
it's right there. Okay, I'm going to undo it. See, we're right at it. It's right here. But you can't tell. Okay. See how close it is? It's very, very common. You know. So now if you were in something like Photoshop, you know, where we're taking a look at the colors and we're using our eyedropper tool, um, or we're using our you know little eyedropper tool. Yeah. See that's my color there. You know, if I was in Photoshop and I was playing around with them, there it is. It's uh, red, green, blue, 61, 62, 62. That's the RGB values. Well, if I go back and I do an eyedropper here, I just wanted to pick that one. Do an eyedropper here. 62, 62, 62. The other one was, what, 61, 62, 62. Yeah, these go up to 255. So our red was only off by one number. You, you'd never be able to pick that out by looking at it. So anyway, there's our number there. So I'm going to take this and N38, F29, N38, F29, N38, F29, 8HS, 8HS, I have no brain, I can't remember this stuff. J F Check it and I have my go on button. So that my friends is that one. Okay. So pretty straightforward one there. Uh, probably post this one up tomorrow, but we'll get into Stego number four, which looks like we have a CAPTCHA here, uh, but we got to figure out what is actually buried inside of this thing. All right, so until next time, uh, this is Malik. Again, if you like the channel, subscribe to it. Give the video a thumbs up. And uh, uh, let me know what you want to see. And I'm thinking about doing a, a live stream. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe sometime later this week. Um, uh, I start trying to do some live streams if I can. We can all get together and we can we can chat up some stuff on on whatever it is that you guys want to talk about. So if there are some particular things you want to talk about, you can always shoot me some concepts. Uh, shoot me some ideas, some topics, and uh, hey, we'll put them up on the live stream and see where we go. All right, but until then, this is Malik, and I'm out.